So the question is, how do rescue strikes work? And rescue strikes are actually very simple mechanisms. And if you've been in the hospital lately to visit someone, hopefully, uh, meaning you're not in the hospital, I guess, um, you've seen them. And you may not just have noticed them, but when I go to the hospital for whatever reason, whether it be work-related or health-related, I notice them, of course, constantly. The concept of a rescue hinge, uh, pardon me, a rescue pivot, a rescue strike, is that you have a door that swings into the bathroom in a hospital. That door is typically hung on center hung pivots. The door is made to work in conjunction with the requirements of center hung pivot hardware. Because it's center hung, you have a cased opening frame, a flat frame with no stops. You'll have a traditional grade one heavy duty lever lock on the door and that door will swing into the bathroom only. The lever works in conjunction with the rescue strike, which is basically the depth of the frame, generally hollow metal, and maybe one inch larger. And it has a hole right where the latch bolt of the lock needs to be mated to. There's no stop on a cased opening frame, right? But the rescue strike specifically has a spring-loaded mechanism that the door will stop up against and it always stays in that orientation. Here's where the rescue hardware comes into play. A center hung pivot set will inherently swing double acting. The latch bolt of the grade one lever privacy, let's say, is really intended to be only single acting. If you have an emergency inside of the bathroom and you cannot push the door open because the patient is literally blocking the opening, you can depress the spring-loaded trigger. The very wide nature of the strike itself will then permit the door to swing out towards you. The latch bolt will glide across the finished architectural metal of that strike. Let's say you have a five and three-quarter jam depth. Well, that strike is going to be seven inch wide, okay, and it's got lips on both sides. That will allow you to clear the opening, door swings out, and you'll be able to enter. So a rescue strike specifically acts as a stop and it acts as an emergency rescue release, and it acts as a strike plate. So it does all of those things. And there's no other information that I really have on the material, except that it's really common uh, to see them in hospitals all the time. If there's a follow-up question, please let us know.